What does the high Z button do on an audio mixer? In this video, we're going to talk about what this button does, where to find it, when we would use it, and when we would avoid using it. In this video today, the only audio mixers that I have in my inventory that have the high Z button on them are the Mackie Pro FX 6V3 and 10V3 audio mixers. If you are looking for pricing or specs for anything that you see in this video, we do have links down in the description below. So first of all, where do you find the high Z button on an audio mixer? Typically, you'll find it right at the top of the channel strip. You'll find it usually next to inputs that are combi jack inputs. So you see here that these inputs can accept XLR or quarter inch. And then you'll see a high Z button right under that. On some audio mixers, you might see it right below the insert, but it's usually in this area. On an audio interface, if you have an audio interface, you'll find this right near the same XLR combi jack input as well. All right, next of all, what does this button actually do? If you engage the high Z button on your audio mixer, it will change the input impedance of the quarter inch input of a combi jack input. What does that all mean? So first of all, with a jack like this, you can use XLR, which is expecting a mic level signal, a tiny signal coming from microphones. If you see this quarter inch input, by default, that's expecting a line level signal from a computer or a keyboard or a drum machine or something like that. But if you turn on the high Z button, if you press this button down, it will change the impedance of this input to be better suited for anything with a magnetic pickup. What does that mean? If you have an electric guitar, electric bass guitar, or a mandolin, or any type of stringed instrument that has a magnetic pickup, you will want to press this button down before connecting it to your audio mixer. If you don't, your electric guitar will just be lacking a whole bunch of tone. The impedance isn't really aligned with what it's getting from the instrument, and it won't sound good. Now, you would not use this button if you're using an electric guitar that's plugged into a guitar amp, and then there's a mic in front of that, and that comes in. That whole signal chain there resolves the issue of the high impedance. This is only if you're connecting the quarter inch jack directly from your guitar straight into the audio mixer if you're wanting to record using software instead of a guitar amp or something like that. Now, if you don't see a high Z button on your audio mixer, it might be called something different. On some audio mixers, there's a picture of a guitar, which does the same thing. Or on some audio interfaces, it'll say INST which stands for instrument input. So depending on what one you see, they all kind of do the same thing. What it's trying to tell you is that it needs to change the impedance for a guitar or bass guitar or something with magnetic pickups. So when would I recommend using the high Z button? Like I said, anytime you're using anything with an electric guitar, bass guitar, magnetic pickups, even on an acoustic guitar, mandolin, anything like that, if you're going straight to an audio mixer without using a DI box, then you do need to find an instrument button or a high Z button and make sure that it's engaged. When would I avoid using it? Anytime that I'm connecting a line level input from my phone, computer, keyboard, anything like that straight into the audio mixer, I would avoid using the high Z or instrument level input on an audio mixer. What happens if you wanna plug your electric guitar, bass guitar into your audio mixer and you don't have a high Z button? In that case, you would use something like a DI box this would accept that instrument level input, puts it through a transformer, it corrects the impedance, then you can go straight in through a microphone input, an XLR input on your audio mixer, and you don't have to worry about any impedance matching or anything like that. What happens if you plug your electric guitar into your audio mixer and you don't press it down? As I said before, it'll basically just sound really thin, really bland, it'll be lacking tone. On some audio mixers, you'll need way more gain because it changes the volume as well. It just won't sound how you're expecting it to sound. Now, what happens if you plug a line level input into an audio mixer with the high Z button engaged? You'll notice that it sounds really chunky, distorted. It does not sound right. It'll sound like it's kind of blown out or peaking, even if it's not peaking. It just won't sound right. Again, the tone won't align to what it's doing because of the huge impedance mismatch. So for that reason, Always make sure that you're only using the high Z button if you are using something with magnetic pickups. Otherwise, leave this button in the up or off position. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions about this button, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Again, if you are looking for pricing or specs for anything that you see here, we have some links down in the description below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.